Hi, it's it's your boy the Schlarmster. This is my last win run for um, SGDQ. I have it 30 frames per second because some of the glitches they'll go faster. Have it blue and anti aliasing doesn't really matter English because it's the fastest. And uh, let's start. All right, so here we are. We have alternate colors on already. Uh, we're going to file B just because it's the fastest one. We're gonna go straight through the tutorial. We don't need reading signs. I already know everything. And uh, we'll do next here, then I'll do <laughs> Um, yeah, no, making good time. We're already at 21 seconds. Uh, hopefully, this will this will go fast. Just gonna load real quick. Alright, here we go. Um, some dialogue, just reset myself, go into the water, and just do some swimming. Some good jumping jacks. The swimming sections in this game, there's not many, but they're not fun, especially if you want to be sure. We'll get into that later. So here we are in this cave, just walking around. You'll you'll see a lot of like fade cuts. It's really weird and dumb, but you know, that's what this game is all about. This game's also all about, you know, the glowing mushrooms. Which there are quite a lot of. You can jump on them, you can look at them. There's not much you can do with these glowing mushrooms, they just glow. But uh, here we had the moment in this game. It is awful because every time you slide down, you just increase your momentum non stop until you jump, which will just send you flying. You'll see that a lot throughout this run, and it is fun. Uh, it's a little mess up, but I'll, I'll fix it, you know, we're still making good time. Alright, if I'll put this top of the hill, it's a little bit RNG manipulation, and perfect. Oh, messed up a little bit. Alright, uh, I'll just press the R key to reset myself. That's fine, that's fine. So if we can do this, there we go, that's better. So how is your day going? That's very good to hear. There we go with our engine manipulation. And... Alright, got it, so... We'll go into this door. There's lots of random doors. If you go on the ground, it stops you, slows you down, and it'll prevent you from jumping. And the only way to get rid of it is by, by getting on some water. Get all wet. Uh, speaking of getting things wet, um, we have to go over here, get some water, avoid the thorns because they are painful. Grab some water, and then I have to bring it back to the platform over here. Excuse me. Uh, go around here, walk up, jump, get the get the fire pots. I don't know how you put fire in a pot, but you do. And what do you do with the fire pots? Well, you throw them in thorns. And that's the last time you'll see fire pots in the game. Uh, here's another door. There. Fairly good doors. You jump on some more mushrooms. It's not to like. More doors. Mm. And here's one of the worst first section of the game. Um, there's like about four segments of this game where you are in an it's, it's an odd place of, of everything and nothing all at the same time, and it consists of awful platforming. But, you know, we got a, we got a, a little, a little weak, so now we have one more heart. And now we're in the forest, the best part of the game. Because it has electric goo on the floor. But there are also multiple places with electric goo, so. But this place also has the best corners in the game, and it also has the only scythe in the game. So, I'll be showing you what I mean by a maze in a little bit after I cut some grass. Alright, got the key. Or maybe, there we go, got the key. And this is the only locked door in the entire game. I'm about to go unlock it. Ignore the monsters, they're not important. But I did get another wing. 
see if I can just slide down this hill. Yeet. And here is our buddy the shark. He is weird and glitchy if you watch him long enough, but this is a speedrun, so of course we're not going to go. Alright, these, these floating logs are my favorite because they're floating logs that clip into each other. Who doesn't like that? about to do a little bit of RNG manipulation over here, and there we go. Alright, these platforms they'll float when you jump on them, I don't know why, but they do. And now we have spinning boxes. Why spinning boxes? Because my dad left me. I almost ran into the goo. Uh. Getting caught on mushrooms is another fun part you can go in this game. There's a lot of places you can get caught on. Mushrooms are one of those things that you can get caught on. And I'm about to uh, pick up the sword. And maybe ask, oh, what are you going to do with the sword? Fight monsters? Like, oh, all such shit? And no, I'm just going to get a coin. Alright, cool. So this game has a fun little thing called Auto Jump. And just randomly, when you walk into a corner, or off Did you not like to a ledge, a word I it'll just saying. jump you for you, and, and it's awful, except for when you walk into place. a corner, it will just jump, and you'll see upwards for you. And so now we're following more mushrooms to, to some thorns, to get an axe that's underneath the water, because that's where the axes belong. The best way to travel around in water is just by jumping easily out. So fun fact, you can all not chop down the, uh, the rafts, but you can chop down the trees. Deforestation is probably the best thing. Mom, please leave the room. Thank you. Whew. These trees like to bounce. They all have the same animation. I don't know why. Oh, because the game developers are lazy. Hmm. Alright, now we don't have to um, really chop down any more trees. Unless you want to, just for just for the fun of it. Cool. Um, so gotta, gotta use my new power up that I got. So the spin jump helps me get through this game faster. Speaking of getting through this game fast, I should be able to uh, get through in about an hour. Thank you. Back to these wonderful corners I was talking about. They're wonderful. Also, here's the end of the level. Just jump off into nothingness, but it's not really nothingness. It's just this maze, maybe. We don't really, we don't really describe this place in the, uh, the Glasswing community. I wish there is a huge Glasswing community. I don't know. I'd like four people that play it, but uh. Yeah, now that we're done with the force level and we're back into the, the hell realm of just random objects that float in space. And I hate it. And it's awful. People call it purgatory sometimes. By people, I mean the other three. The last five runners. Um, nobody likes this because it is awful. Um, I don't really know why it's in the game, other than just to, like, terrorize people, but, you know, they're fun. There's nothing more to them than just, just being fun. So that's what the last one is, it's just a fun filled with, filled with glass and wings. Random structures made out of 
instead of metal blocks. So this this whole section of the game is the, the, the glitchless section. It's just you have to actually play the game legit, but it's not very fun because it's boring because you're, you're at the glass wing community, glass wing towers. We uh we're all about having fun with glitches. Um, but you can can admire the uh. Dinosaur-like creatures made out of Play-Doh. They come in all sorts of different shades of blue, from turquoise to dark blue, and they are scattered throughout the game. And they look awful, but maybe their mother looks good. I don't know. Probably not though. So this player is the um, RNG uh, maze. You just have to to walk through doors and see what works. It's kind of like the uh, uh, the Lost Woods in Legend of Zelda, except worse because this is one it's an RNG, and there's no way of telling which one is right. So you have to do trial and error. And it's awful, and it adds a lot of time to your run. Ah, but we got to the purpose. Ooh, got it got on the first try. Ooh. And like I said, it wasn't right, so I'm gonna try it again. Make a good time though at 11 20. Oh. Ooh. Um, I'm sure you guys are loving the, the textures of this game. I, I've examined them closely multiple times because I think that they are art. Abstract art, but art. Oh man, this is just a real time killer. It has no point in the game. It's not really a challenge or puzzle, it's just walking and awfulness fun fact about this game it um it does have controller like capabilities you can't play with the controller but the thing about it is that you have to bind every every input ever into the, into the game manually and it takes forever and half the inputs you don't even use half the game you don't even play because this game is riddled with glitches. Cool. And here's the, the last segment of the maze. And there we go. So now we're here in the uh, magnet part. We need get some hearts just for safety. And here is our good old friend Electric Goo and Sticky Goo. Pick up some water. Throw it over here so I can get, get some new improved items. This game has off. Just kidding, it's a sword. It's not new or improved. The sword just chops stones and does zero damage to enemies. We can go up here. We only need to chop one thorn in this. Because it's that one, yeah. If we do it, it just wastes time, so we get the slingshot. It's not really a slingshot, it's just a magnet. We kill ourselves to get over here. And now that we have the magnet, we can make all of our, our magnet D blocks go over here. And get up here. And what's in here, you may be asking, well, it's a torch. This is the only torch in the game. And it's awful. Go in here, go through this door over here. And if you don't have the torch, this is just a completely dark room and it's not fun. And you can't memorize it. Also, if you do a little spin while you're good, it'll make you go faster. You don't have to slow down. Um, like that. Here's our, our 
or Beastie Boys. They like to put it in a dark room and do nothing all day. But there's a guy up here who does damage, but he's he's, he's bad at his job. And here we are at the uh, exact same place, except it's different. And we have to run through boxes because we have the torch. Just catch on fire. I'm gonna pick up the uh, magnet again. Pick up the magnet again and just reset ourselves. And use it to get over here. Not sure how it works, but, you know, slamming a magnet on the ground attracts clear blocks. Having some trouble getting up here. I'm gonna stop right up here before the door, do a 360. For some RNG manipulation. Um, so we just got the high jump, no longer do we have the, the extremely weighted movements of this character, of this last wing person. Now we have our high jumps, and we can get up here so we can get the spear. Now you may be wondering what this, uh, this thing on top of the doors are. Well, let me tell you something, they are nothing, they're just decorations. Except this one over here, it does something. You spear these little goo balls of electricity, and you touch it with it, and then you jump up here. You know, what every good use of a spear should do. Just, just electrocute things. I don't know how she doesn't get electrocuted, but I didn't make this game. I didn't read the lore. Jump carefully. And got it. Alright, now back to this hellscape. I'm pretty sure that's the sun or the moon down there. Don't know though. There's there's one up there as well. But this game does have a, a, a wonderful soundtrack. If you haven't listened to it, I definitely recommend keeping it out. Go. A lot of people have trouble doing that on the first try. It's very lucky. Um, oof. That was a dumb mistake of mine. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's alright. We'll, we'll, we'll get through this again. Just more jumping on islands. Her ankles are killing me, but she's lucky that she can do such masterful acrobatics. So, have great knees. Alright, so now we're here in the desert area. It's blue and yellow. That's, that's the color scheme. And what we have to do is just a lot of platforming along with more platforming until we get to the shovel. The shovel is um, something else, you know? It'll treat you right. And I don't know who broke these, but This world is very interesting. I, I, I wish there was more lore about it. You know, I want to know what the average citizen of of this game is like. What do they go through daily? How do they travel? Because everything kind of just ends in a door or nothingness. Is there anyone else so far? We've only seen this this person and a, a weird giant monster and 
Um, what do you do, dinosaurs? And a shark. The only shark in the game. We call him Yoffrey. The shovel. There, pick it up. There we go. Um, we're gonna go down and do a little bit of digging so that we can get our friend the hammer. The hammer is not here. Not here. Actually, is there? Oh no. The ominous tent, what could be chasing us? Who knows? Is it probably the only antagonist in the entire game? Yes. It's pretty spooky if you want to still look at him. You can. You can turn around. Ooh, man. Spooky. Gets me every time. Jump up here. Smash this block. And pull down. Now we're in here, and we got more desert. This place kind of looks like Mario 64. There's another hammer in case you uh, dropped the other hammer. Ooh. Drop that. Get the shovel. Do some more digging. We're gonna dig while well, the only logical place underwater. Okay. Now we have ball mode, so now we can uh, do a little bit of metroiding around and get into the upside down pyramid. What's in the upside down pyramid, you may ask? Well, tunnels for ball people and disappearing platforms. And shovels. Can't read the shovels. So that's where they built the uh, built the pyramids. All right, so we gotta get the the shovel, the spear, and the the, the hammer. Hoops. Smash a block and get the shovel. Dig it up. Get the get the magnet. Move the magnetic block. Go back and get the spear. A lot of back and forth in this game, but you know. It is what it is. These blocks are fun, they disappear every time you jump. It's kind of annoying, especially in this whole part that we're about to get to. And never to the point you don't really need to worry about. It's not, it's not And now we're back to to the space <laughs> spaces. And we're gonna come up on the uh, the last section of the game pretty soon. Interesting, you know. I don't know 
lights in the game, you kind of just press forward. That's the puzzle. It's not really a puzzle. Reminds me a lot of, of Metroid. Oh, oof. That's fun. physics in this game. It just makes a sound by the way. No slide or anything. Uh, who doesn't love a little winter wonderland filled with snow? Let's take a little drive back to the pods. Drop the shovel, get up the uh, magnet, go up to this little place over here. Get away from the Play-Doh dinosaurs. Use a magnet to, to smash the hearts. Move it over here. And go up into this hole. And pick up our, our next king that gives us an all mode bomb. Ball mode bomb does a lot of things. You make bombs when you're in ball mode. And it looks like you're playing back here. It's so bad. There is no limit to how many balls you can have, but it's pretty much just as fast as you can play. Uh, here we go. And we're gonna go in here and go into another ice tube so that I can, uh, some, some balls and I'm ball made by yeah. and I fell out somehow just one of the mini glitches of this game which is it happens you know nothing to get mad about because here here in glass we're all about calm calmness and positivity so the game gives you the bad and the Hmm. It's like a roller 
Jesus, you're made out of ice. Missed the door. My bad. Got stuck. Oh, there we go. Do a little whoosh, style points. Alright, here's the best puzzle in the game. We go around and break through the bombs. Up, but we do it again because that's fun. Up, oh, missed it. What's it? There we go. Oh man, you enjoy that? Let's do it again. There's nothing, nothing beats going around and breaking the corners of that ice. Hey, look. Now an even bigger one to do it on. You guys having fun? Eat and eat. This is elevated. Mm. I love the purple. And now we got the power of flight. The man's greatest power. It's aviation. And you can't open doors while on the ball. I don't know how, but. So, something about the flying in this game, it is, um, awful to control, and weird, and if you go into a corner, the usual. Whoosh. So we're gonna climb this mountain. By flying, and we're gonna break some ice. I don't know why this ice is purple, but the ice wrap is blue. I don't know how they got red ice, but I'm gonna say that it's an artistic decision. We also have now all the wings we're gonna get in this game. There's no more that you can get. So we're gonna try and fly over into this corner. Do a 360. Break some stuff just for, just for fun, you know? Just, just for laughs. Go into this little tube. And now we gotta break more ice. Go into this corner. Go into this corner. We're gonna break this blockade. It doesn't really do anything, but, you know, why not? We'll just say, um,. Fun, you know. I'm gonna do a little bit of RNG manipulation just to see if we'll get a good ending. All right, that usually helps it, but it, it has been done. Well. So this part's fun. Um, you know, going back to the corners. Scroll out a little bit just so you can see the beauty of what is happening. Oh, did you enjoy that? I sure did. Now we're gonna fly up this wall. This is one of the uh, harder glitches of the game. And, uh, up. Because that happens. And got it. There we go. Now we just transverse this land. Looking for love. Looking for the Death Star, I guess. I don't know what that is up there. Just a ball of ice. Floating doors. There you go. They close. Pick a pot. 
Do some good RNG manipulation. Plus, you can get a torch. That's all. To be the light of my life. Torch is burning energy, by the way. Doing what Snoopy the Bear taught us not to. You do get some um, shovel. What does the shovel do? Means? I don't know at this point. Yeah, dig. game but it allows for you to just get momentum which is the best there's actually parts in the game where you can fall like in between the crevices of a wall and you'll just like start sliding down the wall and if you jump out you'll just go flying because you picked up so much momentum Oops. I don't know what is happening when the person who created this game created it. Why? Why did they make it? What was their main goal? Signs on the Texas file. It's not one of them. Good old nuts and boxes. My favorite. Cool. So the reason I'm wasting time around in this area is um, mostly just because. If you complete the game too fast, it will, like, it has a higher chance of giving you the bad ending. There's still a chance that you can't get it. But, um, 
which is some RNG manipulation. I want to get up to about 42 seconds or 14 minutes from that before I actually fight the final boss. That's just the safest distance. That's just about the, the safest time. Um, I don't know why, but sometimes when you decide to go fight the final boss, it's like, oh, sorry, you can't. Because the game's not finished. But it is finished. The last update was in 2015. My favorite noise in the game, which is just uh -huh. it's all I need, like dire reset. So you might be asking, how do you get to the final boss? Well, it's simple. You can just go to the ball and jump up here. And hope you don't mess it up like that. Try this again. Sorry about this glitch. Is only in this room. Please reload the game and load your file. It should function normally at this point. So we're just gonna call time there. That's um supposed to be the boss fight, but instead it just decides to kick you out of the game. So uh, thank you again. This is my glass ring run. This is the Schlumster. Um, I'm Mason Martin. Uh, thank you so much, SGDQ, for your time.